Peter Gowan, the 15th of January 1946, Glasgow, the 12th of June 2009, was a professor of international relations at London Metropolitan University, activist, published author and public speaker. He was a member of the editorial committee of New Left Review and was one of the founders of Labour Focus on Eastern Europe. With his older sister and his mother he moved to Belfast in April 1946 and lived there until he was nine. He never knew his father. He went to school at Princess Gardens in Belfast until he was seven and then to Brackenborough House. When he was nine his mother moved to London to work and he went to prep school in Suffolk, Orwell Park, ultimately becoming head boy. He left there to go to Haleybury and Imperial Service College, in Hertfordshire when he was 13, in 1959 and from there went on to read politics and history at Southampton University. Gowan was diagnosed with his fatal illness only a couple of weeks after the onset of the world financial crisis despite knowing that his condition was terminal and his health fast deteriorating, he not only bore it with good humor, but bravely continued to work to the limits of his capacity over the following months. His article, Crisis in the Heartland. For the January to February 2009 issue of New Left Review provides a succinct account of how he interpreted the origins of the financial crisis. Peter Gowan died at age 63 from the asbestos-related disease, peritoneal mesothelioma on 12 June 2009. Works. <laughs> 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 Topic. Books A Calculus of Power, Grand Strategy in the 21st Century Verso 2010. The Search for Order, Historical Reflections on the Crisis of Grand Strategies Verso 2008. The Twisted Road to Kosovo, Introduction Manifest, Stockholm, 2000. The Global Gamble, Washington's Faustian Bid for World Dominance Verso, 1999 Crisis East and West, Must It Be Global Barbarism? Spokesman Books 1997 The Question of Europe, Peter Gowan, Perry Anderson eds, Verso 1997 European Union Policy Towards the Visegrad States London Metropolitan University 1996 <laughs> Articles Friedrich von Hayek and the Construction of a Neoliberal Europe in Contratom, No. 4, February 2011 Crisis in the Heartland in New Left Review, 55, January to February 2009. Twilight of the NPT in New Left Review, 52, July August 2008. War in the Contest for a New World Order, unpublished paper 2007. A Radical Realist in New Left Review, 41, September to October 2006. America, Capitalism, and the Interstate System in Critical Asian Studies, Vol. 37, No. 3, 2005. A Salutary Shock for Bian Pensant Europe in Radical Philosophy, 133, September, October 2005. Pax A. Rupea in New Left Review, 34, July August 2005. Economics and Politics Within the Capitalist Core and the Debate on the New Imperialism, unpublished paper 2005. Peter Gowan and the Capitalist World Empire, text by Peter Gowan plus additional comments by four other contributors in Journal of World Systems Research, Volume 10, No. 
2, pp. 471-539 Summer 2004. American Lebensraum in New Left Review, 30, November to December 2004. Europe and the New Imperialism in Labour Focus on Eastern Europe, number 75, 76, pp. 113 to 141, summer autumn 2004. Triumphing Towards International Disaster, The Impasse in American Grand Strategy in Critical Asian Studies Vol. 36, No. 1 2004. The Concept of Empire Today in Timas, Cultura, Ideologia, Sociedad, Número 34, 2004 Cuba, 2004 An Empire as Superstructure in Security Dialogue, 35, 2, June 2004 International Peace Research Institute Oslo, 2004 U.S., U.N. in New Left Review, 24, November to December 2003 U.S. Hegemony Today in Monthly Review, July-August, 2003 Cooperation and Conflict in Transatlantic Relations After the Cold War, in Interventions International Journal of Postcolonial Studies, Vol. 5, No. 2, 2003. Instruments of Empire in New Left Review, 21, May–June 2003. The New American Century, in The Spokesman No. 76 2002. The 11th of September, American Grand Strategy and World Politics in Recherches Internationales, Number no. 66, 2002. After Kosovo, Unanswered Questions in Journal of Southern Europe and the Balkans, Winter Edition, 2002. A Calculus of Power in New Left Review, 16, July-August, 2002. Book Review, The Global Political Economy and Post-1989 Change in the American Political Science Review, Vol. 96, No. 2 June 2002 After America, in New Left Review, 13, January–February 2002 American Global Government, Will It Work?, French Version in Current Marx, 2002 Neoliberal Cosmopolitanism in New Left Review, 11, September to October 2001. The Origins of Atlantic Liberalism in New Left Review, 8, March to April 2001. Explaining the American Boom: The Roles of Globalization and U.S. Global Power in New Political Economy, Volume 6, Number 3, 2001. The New Liberal Cosmopolitanism IWM Working Paper, No. 2 2000, Vienna A Spanish Singleton in New Left Review, 6, November to December 2000 Placing Serbia in Context in Journal of Southern Europe and the Balkans Vol. 1 Issue 2, November 1999 the Twilight of the European Project in Counterpunch, June 1999. The NATO Powers and the Balkan Tragedy in New Left Review, I, 234, March to April 1999. Communists and Workers in Ex-Communist Europe in Monthly Review, May 1998. EU Eastwards Enlargement, The Uncertainties Remeran in Labour Focus on Eastern Europe, No. 59, 1998 The Dynamics of European Enlargement in Labour Focus on Eastern Europe, No. 56, 1997 Eastern Europe, Western Power and Neoliberalism in New Left Review, I, 216, March to April 1996. Neoliberal Theory and Practice for Eastern Europe, in New Left Review, I, 213, September to October 1995. 
The Return of Carl Schmidt in Debate, Journal of Contemporary Central and Eastern Europe, Volume 2, Issue 1, 1994. Old Medicine, New Bottles, Western Policy Toward East Central Europe in World Policy Journal, Volume 9, No. 1, Winter, 1991-1992 The Gulf War, Iraq and Western Liberalism in New Left Review, I, 187, May–June 1991 Western Economic Diplomacy and the New Eastern Europe in New Left Review, I, 182, July-August 1990 The Origins of the Administrative Elite in New Left Review, I, 162, March–April 1987 The Polish Vortex, Solidarity and Socialism in New Left Review, I, 139, May to June 1983, writing as Oliver MacDonald. The Third Round in Poland in New Left Review, I, 101 to 102, January to April 1977, writing as Peter Green. Topic chapters in books Industrial Development and International Political Conflict in Contemporary Capitalism in Alexander Anieva's Ed Marxism and World Politics, Contesting Global Capitalism Routledge 2010, Crisis in the Heartland in Martin Koenig's Ed The Great Credit Crash Verso 2010. American Primacy and Europeanist Responses in Nam Kook Kim ed. Globalization and Regional Integration in Europe and Asia Ashgate Publishing Limited 2009 Global Economy in Michael Cox, Doug Stokes eds. U.S. Foreign Policy, Oxford University Press, First Edition, USA 2008 World Market, State System and World Order Question in International Conference Capitalismus Reloaded ed. Capitalismus Reloaded, Controversy to Imperialism, Empire and Hegemony VSA 2007 Placing Serbia in Context in Vasilis K. Fauskas ed. Politics of Conflict, A Survey Routledge 2007 Contemporary Intracore Relations and World Systems Theory in Christopher Chase Dunn, Salvatore J. Babones Ed's Global Social Change, Historical and Comparative Perspectives Johns Hopkins University Press 2006 The Bush Turn and the Drive for Primacy in Alejandro Collage and Richard Saul Ed's the War on Terror and the American Empire After the Cold War Routledge 2006 The Transatlantic Conflict Over Primacy in Farrakh Tabak ed. Allies as Rivals, the US, Europe, and Japan in a Changing World System Paradigm Publishers 2005 US Hegemony Today in Bellamy Foster, J., and McChesney R. W. Ed's Pox Americana, Exposing the American Empire Monthly Review Press, 2004 The Transatlantic Impasse in Tariq Farrakh ed. A New Era of Triadic Conflict Georgetown University, 2004 the New Liberal Cosmopolitanism in Daniele Archibugi, ed. Debating Cosmopolitics, Verso, 2003. The American Campaign for Global Sovereignty in Leo Panitch and Colin Lay's Ed's Socialist Register, 2003. Fighting Identities, Merlin, 2002. The EU and the East: Diversity Without Unity in M. Newman, S. Feller and M. Farrell, Ed's European Integration. Unity and Diversity Sage, 2002 World System Theory and Contemporary Intra-Core Relations in A. Fisson and T. Zerzhenko Eds, World System Theory and Contemporary Global Transformations Kharkiv University Press, 2002 The War and Its Aftermath in Philip Hammond, Edward S. Herman Eds, Degraded Capability, The Media and the Kosovo Crisis Pluto Press 2000 Making Sense 
defense of NATO's war on Yugoslavia in Leo Panitch and Colin Lay's Eds Socialist Register 2000, Necessary and Unnecessary Utopias Merlin, 1999, The Euro-Atlantic Origins of NATO's Attack on Yugoslavia in Tariq Ali Ed Masters of the Universe, NATO's Balkan Crusade Verso 2000, Passages of the Russian and Eastern Europe Left in Leo Panitch and Colin Lay's Eds Socialist Register 1998, Communist Manifesto Now Merlin, 1998, British Euro Solipsism in P. Gowan, P. Anderson Eds The Question of Europe Verso, 1997, The Post-Communist Socialists in Eastern and Central Europe, in D. Sassoon Ed Looking Left, European Socialism After the Cold War I, B. Taurus, 1997 Poland's transition from state socialism to capitalism in Gerd Nahneman, ed. Political and Economic Liberalization, Dynamics and Linkages in Comparative Perspective Lynn Riena Publishers, 1996 <laughs> Interviews and discussions Peter Gowan, The Ways of the World Interview with Mike Newman and Marco Boitschun, New Left Review 59, September to October 2009. Peter Gowan on U.S. Financial Crisis Interview with This Is Hell. Start at 3.00.15, 2009. Peter Gowan on U.S. Foreign Policy Since 1945 Interview with Against the Grain, 2009 Turbulence in the Imperial Dollar System, Speech, October 2007 Universidad Nomada 2007 Conference, Peter Gowan Talks 1, 2, 3 The Abduction of Europa Interview with Minerva, February 2006 America's Global Gamble Interview with International Viewpoint, April 2002 The State, Globalization and the New Imperialism, a roundtable discussion, July 2001 Russia and Chechnya, Interview with Democracy Now!, January 2000 Which class rules in the USSR? A Debate on the Character of the Soviet Union, August 1989, as Oliver MacDonald.